Americans deplorable at a fundraiser last night. Listen to this. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. And so will those words against Trump supporters cause condemnation from voters on both sides of the aisle? Joining us for a fair and balanced debate, Republican strategist and Trump supporter Paris Denard and Democratic strategist and radio talk show host Garland Nixon. Garland, let's start with you. Good morning. Is that really how Democrats view Trump supporters as deplorable? No. And, and here's, here's why, the thing Well, why not? It. She said it. Well, uh, now, I believe that most Democrats, yes, to some extent, say, w believe that there is an element w within, the, uh, within the group of people that support Trump, uh, Donald Trump, that are racist and that may be referred to in the way that Hillary, um, Hillary said that. But no, certainly no, uh, Democrats don't believe that all Trump supporters are like that. And I don't think that that was a good thing for Hillary to Boy, say. I know, don't think that's going to benefit her. Something um, somewhat uh, similar that Mitt Romney said when he ran for president, you know, the 47 seven percent of people being on the dole something akin to th akin to that got him in a whole lot of trouble not just with the media but also voters so paris is this going to hurt hillary clinton you know what, Heather, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. And it is going to hurt Hillary, Secretary Clinton, because this is a lot different than what Governor Romney said. Governor Romney not, did not say half of the people that were supporting his opponent were racist, were sexist, were misogynist, were xenophobes. He did not say that. And so the problem for Secretary Clinton is if in a crazy world she happens to win this election, which I don't think that she will, She's going to have to talk to half of those Americans, over 14 million Americans who voted for Mr. Trump, who were not supporting her, and explain to them why she does not think now that they are racist or sexist. Mm -hmm. It's offensive, and she owes the American people an apology, especially for people offensive like me. Offensive, and she owes an apology. Okay, well, let's yes. talk about another subject, and that is something that Bill Clinton has said, and that is raising a lot of eyebrows. He says that Donald Trump's Make America Great Again is racist. Listen to this. That message where I'll give you America great again is if you're a white southerner, you know exactly what it means, don't you? <laughs> what it means is I'll give you an economy you had 50 years ago and I'll move you back up on the social totem pole and other people down. That was this week and listen to him a few years ago. I believe that together we can make America great again. To secure a better future for your children and your grandchildren and to make America great again. I want to attack these problems and make America great again. It's time for another comeback. Time to make America great again. So Garland, why is this racist now if Donald Trump says it, but it wasn't when he said it? Well, let's let's uh, uh, you know look at this from what, from a different perspective, and that is, I think it's indicative of a greater problem. And I'm a Democrat, but I mm -hmm. think it's indicative of a much greater problem in, in the in the uh, in, in the Clinton campaign, and that is this: they are there. You know, one day it's Putin and the Russians; it's the whole Cold War Democrat kind of thing, and now it's make America great again. They are not getting to the issues that are going to decide the election, which is about jobs and which is about the economy. They're spending too much time on these extraneous issues, and if they don't. Get get back to that that's what they're going to pay so they're dearly just for flailing around there then uh paris i'm wondering if you, if you think this has something to do with hillary clinton she's underperforming among black voters especially in key states there was one recent survey that said that she's uh down by 10 percent among black voters is that what it's about or is it something else have, this is exactly what it's about it is about a distractionary tactic that they're they're putting out there for the american people to make sure they understand that they believe that Donald Trump is a racist, and so they're going to do whatever they can to have these distraction tactics to take the folks off the fact that Mr. Trump is leading in a couple polls at 8% with the African-American community, which is above what Governor Romney received, which is 6%. And, but the, the bigger issue is that the Clintons have a history of playing this dog whistle race baiting politics that goes back until the time when he was running for governor, running for president, and even back in 2007 and 2008 when they started. The, the Clinton campaign started the birther movement and whisper campaigns about President Obama's yeah. race. You know, his and religion. a lot of our voters will remember in 2008 in South Carolina primary there, yes. one of the things he said is he didn't think his wife would win that primary because she was white. And so, so certainly so, racial politics there. Uh, gentlemen, we have yeah. to leave it there. Thank you so much for getting up so early on a Saturday morning for us. We love having you. Paris Denard and Garland Nixon. Have a great Saturday. You Thank too. you. Well,